Get the latest on what's going on this earnings season, meets, beats, and more in Zach's Earnings Scorecard. Restaurant companies is what we're going to take a look at now with Eric Dutram, editor of Surprise Trader here at Zach's. Now, you call them restaurant companies, I call them fast food companies. Uh, you say potato, I say potato. Quick service, maybe, I think they like to be called. Quick right? service, <laughs> although when you go through the line, it's not always so quick. But uh, companies uh, among the restaurant companies reporting this week, the week of April the 18th, is McDonald's. That's right. And they report on Friday the 22nd. That's correct. Uh, McDonald's, obviously a big bellwether in the, uh, the restaurant space. Mm -hmm. And uh, the restaurant space has decent expectations going into the report. Top 40% industry rank. So it's a, it's a decent sign, but you're going to see a lot of mixed companies as well. Um, if we look at McDonald's, very interesting chart here over the last couple of years. You know, people were freaking out about McDonald's for a while. Um, you know, they were they were concerned about some of the, um, you know, some of the trends in the company and some of the competition. We can see the the consensus estimates really going sharply lower here. Um, but over the last six months, year and a half, we've we've seen kind of a trend here, a little bit higher, and the stock has definitely appreciated very nicely here for investors. We've seen you know a nice series of beats as well. Uh, it's looking like six straight beats for McDonald's here. And, you know, part of this is due to their expansion of that all-day breakfast. People really like that right now. Um, but some worries here for investors are some of, this, some of these trends about discounts that a lot of their competitors have had. I'm sure you've seen a lot of the commercials out there for mm -hmm. four for four, four for, uh, five for four dollars. Right. Um, so that, that could hit the uh, McDonald's bottom line Ten here. for five. Yeah, those <laughs> exactly. kinds of things. Yeah. Exactly. So that, that could definitely impact the McDonald's bottom line if customers have gone to other places in, instead of there. You know, um, I, I just heard a report this morning, uh, curiously enough, that at one of their restaurants in the, one of the southern states, I thought I heard Missouri, they're going to be trying endless French fries. Yes, I, I saw that as well. So, you know, who knows if that's going to expand a bit. I mean, the fries are, I think, the best part of McDonald's. So, Well, and that's a competition with Red Robin. That's right. They have, they have their all-you-can-eat all fries as well, although yeah. not at their express locations, I, I found out, yeah. uh, unfortunately. Yep. But um, McDonald's has a uh, number two rank right now, but, you know, I think investors definitely need to be concerned about this dis discounting issue. Uh, it sounds like they're trying to get into it as well uh, on their own. It has seen some rising estimates as of late. So the number could be good, but I think it's really going to be the outlook that is going to be the key for McDonald's. All right. Then there is Starbucks. That's right. Starbucks, I, this is the one I don't think is a fast food place, but, um, you know, we've, we've got a nice trend for Starbucks here as well. And I said, well, they do have a drive, <laughs> drive through. That's, that's true. Right. Um, and we, we can see over the last couple of years, a great chart for Starbucks, been a phenomenal stock for long-term investors. We've seen the consensus go up each year, year after year, and this is exactly what investors want to see. Um, so it's been a great trend on that front. In terms of earnings, earnings uh, date performance, we've seen a, a miss here two quarters ago. Beyond that, a really nice streak of beats. So, you know, the expectations are probably high for Starbucks right now. Mm -hmm. It has seen some of the most recent estimates go a tad lower. The earnings ESP is negative 2.6% for this stock. Never a great sign when you're going into earnings. Uh, it does have a number two rank. So, you know, it could be a little more mixed than some investors are, are thinking. We're looking for 39 cents on, uh, in earnings from this company. Um, once again, the whole issue of uh, discounts and, you know, sort of Star Starbucks expansion plans overseas could be uh, could weigh heavily on this year on this stock. Okay, and then there's Yum Brands that reports on Wednesday, April the twentieth. That's right. Uh, Yum, number three ranked stock. We have seen estimates move a bit higher for this one over the last month. Earnings ESP of two point four percent. But I think a lot of investors are going to look past this number and they're going to focus in on the uh, the Yum China spinoff plans. That's really been driving the stock over the last six months to year. They've had a lot of problems with their China division. It's a huge part of the company. They are going to look to spin it off here shortly. Um, and if we look to some of the recent charts here, we can see that Yum has had a very mixed track record in earnings season. Uh, share prices have, have fallen significantly. But over the last six months, we, we saw this beat in the previous quarter. And then share prices have, uh, have gone up significantly. I think a lot of this is due to the um, you know, speculation over the spinoff. Uh, for this underperforming segment, and it's going to allow investors to just focus in on the on the U.S. branch and, and you know some of the other developed markets as well. So look for that news to really drive this stock. Uh, although it is looking like 
you know, we could see a, a modest beat for Yum Brands. Okay. Well, if that doesn't satisfy your appetite for earnings information, there's always more on our website, Zax.com, and link to it all right off the homepage. Get on over if you're not there already. With Eric, I'm Terry Ruffalo.